Hey everybody, it's your girl Eshark of Eshark TV, where I give you the real deal on everything reality. On the latest episode of Basketball Wives, episode 7, it continues with the ladies in Rome. They are checking out the sites, and so far they have not offended or completely laughed in anyone's face of a different culture. So they started off on a good start. Um, the one thing that I don't quite understand is they always say they're not concerned about Royce. But why is it that Royce is always the topic of discussion? The whole way in the van, when they're driving, they're like, hey, look, there goes Royce. As far as I see it, if you're not concerned with someone, then you don't need to constantly have their name in your mouth and constantly talking about them, especially when you're on vacation. Like, if you're in another country and your main topic of discussion is that person, then maybe you guys are a little stalkerish. Like, there's a term for that. It's called jump off. And I'm not a fan of Royce. Let me clear the air with that. I'm not Team Royce. But I do recognize that they jump in her. Like, if you don't like her, just dismiss her. It's like she doesn't even exist. I do it all the time. I just completely wipe people out of existence. But nevertheless, they still talked about her. Then we had Tammy still going with the back and forth with Mika. This is what I feel about Tammy. And I know a lot of you guys may be upset because you love Tammy to death. And I don't think she's a bad person, but certain things she uh, certain things that she does, they just irk me. You know, like, irk. Uh, it is an annoyance. And this is the main thing. You know you don't like Mika, so why you keep on, you know, saying, Aunt Mika, let me discuss something with you. Let's be real with me. If you don't like her, and you feel like she's a liar, she goes back and forth, and you flip-flop, and you already addressed her once with the whole race situation, then you addressed her again, at the polo event, which she wasn't wrong. Then you address her a third time when you guys first get to Italy. Then why do you still feel the need to constantly keep on talking about how you don't like her? Like, keep it moving. What I think Tammy wants to do is fight her, and so she's looking for excuses to do so. But if that's what you want to do, just do it. And stop coming up with the excuses, because you're really monopolizing time right now. And I like to see other people get into drama on the show, not just you, okay? It's kind of running tired with me. But then... You know, we get into the whole Jen and F situation. And that's the meat and potatoes of the whole thing that's going on right now. Now, I did put a poll up on my fan page. And you can do a video response on the YouTube page, esharktv.com. Or you can do a comment on our new and improved website, www.esharktv.com. And let me know what you feel about it. I personally think that there was another way that Jen could have handled it. Like, Ev did have a point. Like, she wasn't out there trashing her or Eric's relationship. In most interviews, she seems pretty supportive. Like, hey, I'm here for my friend or whatever she goes through. But for Jen to get on it, you know, I don't know if she just lost the moment and, you know, kind of dished out some stuff that she wished she didn't say in public. But it almost seemed for most of the time that she wasn't even remorseful about it. And that's the thing that kind of got me to where I was like, you know... Jen, you are kind of in the wrong. But this is when I look to you guys to hit me up and let me know what you think about it. Do you think she was wrong? Do you think Ev is overreacting? Let me know and we'll get to the bottom of it. I'm really interested to see where things go with it next week. So we'll see what happens. And then also to end it off, the question that I'm wondering, and I don't know if you guys feel the same way, is why do they always do their dirt and their drama at a restaurant or in a public space? Like, you see how Ev and them had that discussion and it seemed like they were on a private patio? That's the time and place to do it. Stop looking like a donkey or a refined head rat, as I like to call it, a condo rat. If you know people are around and looking at you in a certain way, you know? Like, they went to the winery and was teasing the guy like, oh, it looks like he has a medallion, this, that, and the third. Like, come on now. Time and place, guys. Time and place. You didn't know what it was. The guy told you. Now that you know that you were ignorant about something, realize that you learned about it and move on. Stop cracking jokes right in front of the dude's face like he's not a man or a real person. Like, that's just tacky and rude. Like, I'm surprised countries let them go there anymore. But that's just my opinion. What I would like to hear is your opinion. And you can give me those at www.esharktv.com. At my Twitter, at esharktv. Or any of the other venues. YouTube, hit me up. You know where to find me. Google it, baby. I'll be there. Till next time. Ciao.